Mercy Federation, and 50 years ago, on the same exact day, when Omar Walk was happening. And so, um, after 50 years, we're still here, and the way the service to our community, we're looking forward to the next uh, um, yeah. year for the exit. So today, I'm going to talk about um, how the newly outlook was. So we have the leader on the cake, and the lecture of the service. And also we have art activity for the um, school art station for older kids over there. We have one art station for the younger ones over there. And uh, at the one o'clock, we are uh, going to give a, we're going to have a free cooking demonstration. And also throughout the day, we're going to give a prize as well. And please put your name in uh, your bucket and we're going to do a holy drawing. Uh, but you have to be here in order to win. Um, so we're going to do maybe twice. One is in the maybe before uh, one o'clock, another one is after the free uh, demonstration. Um, 谢谢大家来参加我们的五十多年庆祝会。五十年前，我们这个图书馆开始建立。那我们给这个社区提供了很多优秀的服务希望在未来的五十年我们能够继续的服务这个社区今天呢我们很荣幸请到了我们那个天普市的市长还有司仪员来帮我们那个切蛋糕完了以后我们有食物提供给大家也有
First one we're going to do is we're going to do the green tea pot, which I did a little bit of a demo, but I want to show you. Uh, and then we're going to do yuge jang soup, which is a Korean spicy soup, okay? The third one, we're going to be doing pibi pot, which is a Korean uh, rice, assorted vegetable marinated, okay? Uh, with the chili paste, hot chili paste. Now, I know that it's an open space, so you may not be able to hear me, but if you have questions, just let me know. And the last one, we'll try to squeeze in, which is a Korean chop chae. Chop chae is the clear potato noodle with assorted vegetables, just like the Chinese and the Korean and the Asian cuisine. We try to bring in about five to ten different elements, like five different colors. Uh, we try to bring in different, five different flavors. Okay, so for example, if you see like a chop chae, you see different colors, like you see orange, green, uh, you see like black, white. Yellow. These are five different colors that we try to bring together to form a cuisine, green cuisine. Okay. So we try to bring in the five flavors, which is like a spicy, salty, sweet, uh, bitter. Um, so we bring in those five. Then we also bring in the five colors to make the Korean cuisine. Now today we're going to do uh, kind of from the traditional Korean uh, cuisine. But once again, this is not just to the traditional side only. You can use your imagination, and you can use your preference of what you like and don't like, and you can assort it with that, okay? Okay. Just flip it, okay? And then once you flip the rice, leave it there for about 10 more minutes, now it's evened out, and then you're ready to go. For about, so about 20 minutes, okay? So we got the regular rice, and now we either added this. If you want to make your own, all you have to do is take one cup to start off with rice of vinegar. Okay, you see it there, rice vinegar. Usually 30% of sugar is good for one cup. 
30% of sugar of one cup is good. Little bit, maybe half teaspoon or tablespoon, teaspoon of salt, and then that's it. Now, if you want to get real fancy, and you want it really a good flavor, kelp, okay, which is Korean dashima. Dashima is kelp, okay, kambu, and this here is a thick seaweed that you use. This is very important for the Korean cuisine because in our soup broth and our soup, we use this all the time. And sometimes when I want to impress whoever it is to make the rice, I put it in the water and cook it, but I take a chip like this and I toss it in the cooker, rice cooker. Because this gives it a natural calcium, a salt flavor, instead of putting salt in the, okay, in the vinegar. So this helps, okay? So basically, you take a cup like this, a bowl, one cup of rice vinegar, maybe say 30%, depending on you, sugar, and you can put a little bit of this in here and let it sit. It's important that you mix it up and let it sit overnight, because if you just go ahead and take this and put it in the rice and mix it, you have the sugar in the bottom sitting, it's too sweet, okay? So let it sit overnight, let the sugar dissolve, and then use that uh, sauce for your rice next, next day. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seems like I'm shouting. Am I shouting? <laughs> perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm only hearing me, so I'm going, wow, I, you're loud. Huh? <laughs> they say that I was loud, but sometimes I, I hear myself and I'm a little too loud. Okay. Any questions on the sauce and the rice? Everybody knows. Good. We can move on. So here we go. We got that down. 99 reds for uh, Korean Asian market, full seaweed, okay? And then try to pick it out from the middle. If you go from the corner, you would break it like that. So go from the middle, open it up and take it out, okay? Okay. Now, this is the shiny side, this is the rough side. Usually the uh, rice will stick better on the rough side. You can see that. You can see the line vertical instead of going this way, horizontal. Better when you go ahead and put the rice on vertical. So the line goes over, it doesn't break. If you ever want to do just a half, you can do a half. But then I'm making a Korean kimbap, which is a full, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And then the ladies and so on, you can wear those plastic gloves too, okay? Anywhere you like, you can take a paddle, put it on. But the whole purpose is, we're gonna try to cover all the black part with rice keep about half an inch of the seaweed on top open. So don't cover that half. That's the important part, okay? So, um, let me do it. Because you don't want watery spinach, okay? And then after that, container, sesame oil a little bit, mix it up, put it to the side, okay? It's egg, mixed egg. Break the egg, mix it, put it in a pan like an omelet, okay? Finish, put it here, let it cool off, cut it, and then that's it, okay? Tempura fish cake, it's already marinated with sesame oil. All you have to do is buy it at the market and just cut it up. You don't even have to pan fry it. You don't have to do the pan, okay? And that should be it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on. So two colors here. Korean kalbi barbecue. We have the egg on here. Spinach. These days, my wife is making me a lot of spinach. She's saying that it's good for me, okay? So put a lot of spinach on, okay? Especially for your husband and kids. Fermented radish or takang. Okay, so basically we have six different ingredients here. Now, this is not what you have to do. You can put only the ones that you like. It's up to you, okay? This is the traditional side. Five different colors, at least, elements. And I'm going to show you the easy way. Some of you have been doing this, but uh, making it difficult on you. But my way is real easy. Instant kimbap. Okay? 
Now, the key is, before you go, you need to take this side and you need to be able to tuck it under first. Concentrate on that. Make sure that's in. Once that's in, you're finished. You're okay now. When you cut it, it won't break. When you're doing your roll, you see your roll breaking, it's because this is not tucked in. So tuck it in. If sometimes this is a little loose here, you can put sesame oil here. But usually the temperature, warm temperature of the rice, we're just gonna sog it up and close it for you. So even here, I'm finished, okay? I don't really need a mat if I don't want to use it, okay? You can just pan it, okay? But I'm gonna use it this one to make it look better. I stretch it out. I just tighten it, that's it, just tighten it. And this is good for your exercise, ladies. <laughs> Triceps, biceps, shoulder exercise, okay? Try to do uh, 50 a day. Whoa, yeah. You know when you go to the Korean market, you see uh, 50 kimbap? They have, uh, which is like elderly missus there, and she's doing kimbap, 50 of them. She has big muscles, okay? So here we go. See how this is closed up? So basically here we could play uh, football, okay? So here, we're gonna put a little bit more sesame oil. There you go. So basically the flavor of Korea is the sesame oil. We're gonna go put it there. Not too much, okay, see that? And then take your sesame seeds and just go from the side so you don't waste them. It goes right on it. And basically you have that, right? Here, whoever makes the kimbap usually eats a boner, okay? So, and then you notice how I'm cutting it? I'm putting my finger on it as I'm pulling it out. It helps so that it doesn't slide out, okay? Thank <laughs> you.